Hello, today we are going to learn about text features and graphics. What are text features? Well, text features are parts of a text or tools that help the reader understand the text. They draw the eyes of the reader to important information and they also help the reader predict and categorize information. Here are some examples of text features and all these help to emphasize important points in a text. For example, we have a title page up here. In red font color is the title of the book and it also tells the reader who the author is and it also gives the reader the name of the illustrator. Next we have a table of contents. A table of contents appears at the beginning of a book and tells the names of chapters and what page numbers the chapters can be found. Next we have a section heading in the book. It divides the text into chapters or sections and explains what the chapters or sections will be about. A glossary appears at the end of a book and provides the definitions of some of the words found in the text. Okay, now what are some different types of graphics? Like text features, graphics also help us understand a text. Okay, so here you see a couple of photographs. A photograph shows what something looks like and it is taken with a camera. And here is a, an illustration which shows uh, what something looks like as drawn by hand. We have a graph and a pie chart here. Now, graphs and charts organize and help compare information in a visual way. Similarly, a table organizes and displays information in a visual way, so it is easier to read and understand. A map is also a graphic. A map shows where places are located. And this is a diagram. A diagram explains information or how something works in a visual way. And if, as you can see, the diagram has labels that name different parts of the graphic and a caption which explains what the graphic is about. Okay, so far we have been talking about text features and graphics in print, meaning in books, magazines, newspapers, etc. But you will see text features and graphics in the digital media as well. This is our Educational Galaxy website. You see lots of text and pictures here. They tell you where information is located and which page to go to find what you're looking for. For example, the title of the website is up here. It tells you this is the Education Galaxy website. The Home tab up here, if you click on it, it will take you to the first page of the website. You also see different pictures and tabs here. Okay, let's uh, talk about this. This graph icon here tells you that you can find information on how you are doing here in your Educational Galaxy assignments. You see that here is the tab for your study plan. You click on the arrow here and you will see a menu drop down and you can select where you want to go in your study plan and what you want to study today. So all these text features and graphics help you navigate the website and find the information that you're looking for. So next we come to a question. I'm going to give you a moment to read this passage and then we are going to answer the question together. All right, which idea from the passage does the photograph above support? So here is the photograph. You just read the passage. The photograph shows a modern toaster and an old toaster from 1909. Okay, so let's answer the question. Well, here it says that there have been many improvements to the design of the toaster. How would you answer this question? I'm going to say, toasters have come a long way in appearance and function since the first toaster was made in 1893. Well done. I will see you later.